Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain you about Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. Fundamental Theorem of Arithmetic. Before going into this topic, we have to recall the basic part related to this theorem. The basic thing we have to know here is prime factorization of a composite number. Let us see how to find prime factorization of a given number first. Afterwards, we will define fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Let us take some examples and do prime factorization. I am going to take one number 5005. We have to do prime factorization for this. While doing prime factorization, we have to take only prime numbers. Let us check whether the first prime number is divisible here or not. It is not divisible. So go for the next prime number 3. It is also not divisible. Go for the next prime number 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 zeros are 0. 5 zeros are 0. 5 ones are 5. Now again check for the first prime number. It is not divisible. Go for the next prime number 3. It is also not divisible. 5 is also not divisible. Go for 7. 7 ones are 7. But 10 is there here. Difference is 3. 3 0 30. 7 fours are 28. 7 fours are 28. But 30 is there here. The difference is 2. 2, 1, 21. 7, 3s are 21. Now again check all the prime numbers from starting. 2, 3, 5, 7. Nothing is divisible here. So go for the next prime number. 11. 11, 1s are 11. 11 ones are 11, but 14 is there. What is the difference? 3. 3, 3, 33. 11 threes are 33. Next, this is 13. This is a prime number. 13 ones are 13. Now, we are going to write the prime factorization for 5005. That is 5 into 7 into 11 into 13. I am going to explain another example now. 2310. Now take first prime number. Yes, it is divisible. 2 ones are 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 ones are 2. But 3 is there. What is the difference? Difference is 1. 1 1 11. 2 5s are 10. But 11 is there. What is the difference? 1, 1, 0, 10. 2, 5s are 10. Next check whether 2 is divisible here or not. It is not divisible. Go for the next prime number 3. 3, 3s are 9. 3, 3s are 9. But 11 is there. What is the difference? 2. 2, 5, 25. 3, 8s are 24. 3, 8s are 24. But 25 is there. What is the difference? 1, 1, 5, 15. 3, 5s are 15. 3, 5s are 15. Next. Next, it is divisible only by 5. 2 and 3 are not divisible here. So, take 5. 5 7s are 35, 5 7s are 35, but 38 is there. What is the difference? 3, 35 is there now, 5 7s are 35. Here 77 is there. Take 7, 7 11s are 77. 11 is a prime number. Take 11, 11 1s are 11. Now, 2310 can be written as 
prime product of these prime factors product of these prime factors that is 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 into 11 this is called prime factorization for this number I am going to explain another number also that is 250 let us go for the first prime number 2 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 but 5 is there what is the difference? 1. 10 is there now. 2 5s are 10. Next, 2 is not usable here. Take 3. 3 is also not usable. The next prime number is 5. 5 2s are 10. 5 2s are 10. But 12 is there. What is the difference? 2. 2 5 25. 5 5s are 25. Again take 5, 5 5s are 25, 5 5s are 25, take 5, 5 1s are 5. Now write prime factorization for this 250. 2 into 5 into 5 into 5. If you observe here, 5 is repeating 3 times. We can write in the form of powers. 2 is 1 time here into 5 is 3 times. 5 cube means 5 power 3 means 5 is multiplied 3 times. In the form of powers also we can express the prime factorization of a given number. If you observe here this is a composite number and this composite number is expressed in the form of product of primes. This is also a composite number. This composite number is expressed in the form of primes. This is also a composite number. This composite number is expressed in the form of primes. And if a prime number is repeating, we can write in the form of powers. Here we have to observe that 5 into 7 into 11 into 13, the multiplication, the product of all these primes is nothing but 5005. The product of all these primes is 5005. Now I am going to write like this. If we change the order of all these numbers, does the product change? No, the product will be same. Suppose I am writing the numbers prime factorization here. Just I am changing their places. The order I have changed here. I have changed the order. If I change the order, will the product remain same or it will change? It will not change. The product remains same. Okay. This is called fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So, fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that Fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every composite number can be expressed every composite number can be expressed as product of prime factors and this Prime factorization is unique apart from the order
in which prime factor occurs fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every composite number can be expressed as product of prime factors see this is a composite number and this is expressed as product of prime factors afterwards and this prime factorization is unique unique means what here look at the prime factorization for this number and look at the prime factorization of this number does these two same these two same no they are different and see prime factorization here this is different from this and this is different from this so those are unique apart from the order in which prime factor occurs so whatever the order it may be the product is same we changing the places order different order the product is same so this is what called fundamental theorem of arithmetic if we take composite number as x and prime factors as p1 p2 p3 and so on up to pn then x can be written as this composite number can be written as product of these prime factors product means we have to multiply the result after multiplication gives the product so p1 into p2 into p3 into so on up to pn where all these p1 p2 p3 are expressed here in the form of ascending order look, look here all these are in ascending order here here ascending order ascending order okay p1 is less than or equal to p2 and this goes on up to pn see here i have used equal to also if you observe here we can get equal prime numbers also so this is about fundamental theorem of arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic states that every composite number can be expressed as product of prime factors see product of prime factors and this prime factorization is unique unique means see this prime factorization observe this prime factorization and observe this prime factorization all these three are different from each other that is called unique apart from the order in which prime factor occurs order means if we change their places the product does not change it remains the same whatever the order it may be the product remains same okay suppose if we take a composite number as x and the prime factors of this x are p1 p2 p3 up to pn then x can be expressed in the form of p1 into p2 into p3 into so on up to pn where this p1 p2 p3 are written in ascending order means p1 will be less than or equal to p2 and this is less than or equal to p3 and this goes on until pn i hope you understand students so friends this is about fundamental theorem of arithmetic if you really like this video please share and subscribe thank you for watching my video